Whittleton Creek, Vermont. On the surface, a picture-perfect suburban dream. Wide roads, golden maple trees, and verdant lawns. Most residents here are white-collar professionals, ranging from university staff to government employees. Most, but not all. Janus's unpresuming home is protected by a host of bodyguards, and intel shows that the fragile former constant rarely leaves the property. Nolan Cassidy, on the other hand, roams the neighborhood streets. A recent arrival, the dutiful Providence Herald is busy making threat assessments and settling in with his security team. Now remember, this is about more than just revenge. Janus is the key to bring down Providence. So get in there and find us a lead. Good luck, 47. assured me that it was only a sleeping agent. Get this, he told me that he doesn't kill the bugs, he only sedates them. Apparently, there is a fumigator in town. He's working on a house belonging to a James Batty, and has previously been working on Cassidy's house. The fumigator has stored some of his chemicals, a strong sedative, in a container in a vacant lot near the creek. Sounds like this could be useful, 47. He can set them free later. Let me get this straight. He's an exterminator who cares about the lives of insects. What a weirdo. I thought so too. But then, he told me this story about his pet cockroach. Speak to the man in charge. That's you.
Nicely done, 47. This should keep things nice and quiet inside the house. Man, you read me. We got a possible situation. Come in, command! I've got someone on the ground. Nolan Cassidy is down. Good work, 47. Janus awaits your attention. Janice's oddball nurse is at it again. Oh, yeah, the bird guy. I think he comes early just to chat with the birds. Spend more time with them than he does with Janice. A couple of weeks ago, I walked past him, and I have to tell you, he gets into some pretty personal stuff with those animals. He shared his opinion on Janice. Let's just say it's not exactly overwhelmingly... So Janice has an appointment with a male nurse every Saturday. He is down feeding the birds by the creek at the moment. Sounds like a good way inside Janus's house. Positive. Well, cranky old men don't tend to be very likable. Maybe if you don't get along with the other. Honey, it's me. Nicole? Yes. I know. You know what I like? Hmm. I think we could do with the paramedics here. I found one lifeless body. Over. Sir, I will have to check you if you want to pass, okay? This will just take a sec, sir. Good. You're clean and good to go. 
New guy, huh? The regular guy is indisposed. I'm here to take care of Mr. Janus. All right, just ring the doorbell. Someone will be with you in a moment. Who are you? Where's Lafayette? He's not well. well. Hopefully it's something serious. I wouldn't mind if Lafayette was replaced permanently. He's an insufferable bore with a room temperature IQ. But if you're the new guy, you'll need to be on time. I have a busy schedule, you know. You have a very distinct face, my friend. Eastern European, am I right? But more than that, a refined mix of cultures. You look almost like an artist's rendering of the perfect man. I knew a man once, a doctor. He would have found you quite interesting, I think. Good day. So, back to this thing. I'll just spend a few minutes with the inhaler to fill my system with as much oxygen as possible before we proceed to the bathroom for the health check itself. Well, while Mr. Janus fills his lungs, I'd like a quick word with you. Please, come with me. I know this looks like a relaxed operation, but I run a tight ship. Nobody gets alone time with Janice unless I know them, and I don't know you. So here's what I'll do. I'm going downstairs to run a security check on you. It should only be a few minutes. In the meantime, you wait in the study. We'll lock the doors and my men will make sure you don't accidentally wander off. I'm sure you understand. Please, wait in there. 47, you have to find a way out of there. I can't possibly construct a viable ID for you in time. I'll have Miss Hall remotely interfere with their search, but we can't keep it up for long. Well, that was certainly an interesting turn of events. Still, no rest for the wicked, 47. What? You could probably slip back inside and give Janus his health check while his bodyguard is busy. Just be mindful of the patrolling guards. I'm back. Reaches I suggest up. we go to the bathroom now. All right. Let's go then. Both targets are dead.
I swear I have a license for it. I just don't bring it with me. You can't just confiscate my property. I am paradise. My friend. You gotta be kidding! Oh, for Christ's sake! Let go before you kill somebody! Oh, God! Help! Please, help me! Hmm. One of Janus's many diaries. He's apparently been the chairman of the Ark Society for years. He stepped down very recently, but is still attached to the Society. Well, 47, this is valuable information. Janus is apparently engaged in a civil lawsuit with another resident of Whittleton Creek. James Batty, the plaintiff, wants Janus to stop his annual landing of a helicopter near the local creek. Batty claims it interrupts the nesting birds and a species of frog that has been declared endangered. Must be a very important trip given his poor health. in my position, over. Okay, could have been a false alarm. Stay alert. Got that? Man, you got nothing. Stand by.
ceremonial robe of some sort with a note from Janus attached. Hmm. The note is interesting. Janus has asked Helen to do a few repairs on the robe before he leaves for his annual trip. He even put a date there. This is valuable information, 47. of some sort. The note mentions another house. Perhaps Cassidy is using one of the vacant buildings as a base of operations, 47. Stand free. 
Frederick was overlooked despite my recommendations. I would appreciate an explanation of the reasoning behind the decision. Well, it's a long and rather complicated discussion to undertake over the phone. Your request was put in front of the partners and considered, but in the end, it was decided to assign the role to the Washington twins. The partners saw their ideas as a breath of fresh air. A breath of fresh air. They are fortune seekers, robbers of the past, focusing on glory and wealth and outlandish futuristic dealings rather than conservation. They are not representative of what the society was built for. I understand your concern. Rest assured, I will be watching them closely very well. It seems we have a lot to discuss when we meet soon. Agreed. Until then. Excellent. This confirms that Janus and the Constant will meet up soon. I don't think we'll be able to identify the partners today, but this is very useful. The tape doesn't specify where that meeting will take place, however. We need that final bit, 47. So, we know that Janus is expecting to leave Whittleton Creek via helicopter, and that he's going to meet the Constant at some event. I think it's time to look inside Janus's house for more clues. Good work, 47. We now know Janus is meeting with the Constant at an event related to the Ark Society. And we have an approximate date as well. I think that's all we're going to get. We're close to the finish line. It's time to end this. All mission objectives are completed. 47, once you've left Whittleton Creek, I will notify Providence of our discovery. In the meantime, we'll go over the clues you found. Once we've located the constant, we'll make our final move. You make it sound so easy.